Imagine a world where a colossal dam stretches across the Red Sea. It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, right? Well, some engineers and visionaries believe it could be possible. This ambitious idea proposes harnessing the power of the Red Sea to generate massive amounts of clean energy. It's a bold concept, no doubt, but is it just a fantastical dream, or could it actually become a reality? The Red Sea, nestled between Africa and Asia, holds immense potential energy within its flowing tides. This narrow sea, connecting to the Indian Ocean, experiences significant water level differences between its northern and southern ends. This natural phenomenon has sparked the imagination of those seeking innovative energy solutions. Could we harness this power? Could this be the answer to our growing energy needs? The idea itself is captivating. Imagine the engineering marvel, the sheer scale of such a project. It would be a testament to human ingenuity, a modern-day wonder of the world. But as with any grand vision, the path to realization is fraught with complexities. Before we get carried away by the allure of this ambitious project, we need to ask some hard questions. Is damming the Red Sea even feasible? What would be the environmental impact? And how would it affect global trade and economies? The proposed location for this monumental dam is the Bab El Mandeb Strait. This narrow passage, situated at the southern end of the Red Sea, acts as a gateway between the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, which then opens up into the vast Indian Ocean. At its narrowest point, the strait is a mere 18 miles wide flanked by Yemen on the Arabian Peninsula and Djibouti on the Horn of Africa. The strategic importance of this location is undeniable. It serves as a vital shipping route connecting Asia, Africa, and Europe. The Bab El Mandeb Strait is a maritime bottleneck with millions of barrels of oil and countless tons of cargo passing through it every single day. Imagine the impact of constricting this crucial artery of global trade. The very idea of constructing a dam across this narrow passage is daunting. The depth of the strait, reaching over 1,000 feet in some areas, presents a significant engineering challenge. The seabed, a mix of sand, silt, and volcanic rock, further complicates the construction process. And let's not forget the geopolitical implications. Building a dam of this magnitude would require unprecedented cooperation between nations, particularly Yemen and Djibouti, who would become custodians of this critical infrastructure. The political landscape, often fraught with tension and instability, adds another layer of complexity to this already ambitious endeavor. The world is hungry for energy. As our global population grows and our reliance on technology increases, so too does our demand for power. This insatiable appetite has driven us to explore new and innovative ways to generate electricity, and that's where the Red Sea Dam project comes in. The idea is simple in principle, harness the natural power of water to generate clean, renewable energy. The Red Sea, with its unique geographical features, presents an intriguing possibility. The difference in water levels between the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden creates a natural pressure gradient. This pressure difference, if harnessed correctly, could drive turbines and generate electricity. Proponents of the project argue that it could provide a significant source of clean energy to the region and beyond. Imagine the possibilities if we could reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and tap into this vast, untapped resource. The Red Sea Dam in their view represents a beacon of hope in a world grappling with climate change and energy insecurity. However, critics argue that the potential benefits are far outweighed by the risks and challenges. They point to the potential environmental devastation, the astronomical costs, and the immense logistical hurdles as reasons to abandon this seemingly far-fetched idea. The debate rages on, with both sides presenting compelling arguments. Only time will tell if the dream of harnessing the Red Sea's energy will ever become a reality. So how exactly would this Red Sea Dam work? Imagine a massive concrete structure stretching across the Bab El Mandeb Strait. This dam wouldn't be a solid wall though. It would be designed with a series of sluice gates and turbines strategically placed along its length. Here's how the magic happens. As the tide rises in the Gulf of Aden, water would flow through the dam's sluice gates, filling a reservoir on the Red Sea side. This difference in water levels creates potential energy, much like water stored behind a traditional hydroelectric dam. When the tide begins to recede, the sluice gates close, trapping the water in the reservoir. Now, here comes the power play. The trapped water, now at a higher elevation than the receding tide in the Gulf of Aden, is released through the dam's turbines. The force of the rushing water spins these turbines, generating electricity. Think of it as a giant water wheel. But instead of grinding grain, 
it's powering homes and industries. This process, known as tidal power generation, is a clean and renewable source of energy. It relies on the natural ebb and flow of the tides, a predictable and inexhaustible resource. The Red Sea Dam project, if realized, would be a monumental feat of engineering, harnessing the power of nature on a grand scale. But as we'll explore further, the path to realizing this vision is paved with challenges and uncertainties. The potential power output of the Red Sea Dam project is nothing short of staggering. Preliminary estimates suggest that it could generate an astounding amount of electricity, potentially rivaling the output of some of the world's largest power plants. Imagine the impact this could have on the energy landscape of the region and beyond. Proponents of the project envision a future where clean, renewable energy from the Red Sea Dam powers homes, businesses and industries across multiple countries. They argue that it could help alleviate energy poverty, reduce reliance on fossil fuels, and contribute to a greener, more sustainable future. The sheer scale of the project's potential energy output is a tantalizing prospect for a world grappling with the challenges of climate change and energy security. However, these optimistic projections come with a hefty dose of reality. Critics argue that the actual power output could be significantly lower than estimated, citing factors such as variations in tidal flow, energy loss during transmission, and the technical challenges of harnessing such a vast and unpredictable force of nature. They caution against viewing the Red Sea Dam as a silver bullet solution to the world's energy woes. The debate over the project's true potential is likely to continue as long as the idea itself remains on the table. Only through rigorous scientific analysis, feasibility studies, and a realistic assessment of the technical and logistical challenges can we determine whether the Red Sea Dam can truly live up to its promise as a potential powerhouse of the future. While the Red Sea Dam project offers exciting possibilities for renewable energy, it also raises significant environmental concerns. Damming a body of water as vast and ecologically rich as the Red Sea could have profound consequences for marine life, coastal ecosystems, and even the local climate. Gap 2S. Critics point out that the construction and operation of such a massive dam could disrupt the natural flow of water, affecting the migration patterns of fish and other marine species. Coral reefs, which are already under threat from climate change and pollution, could face further degradation due to changes in water temperature and salinity. Additionally, there are concerns about the impact on local communities that depend on the Red Sea's resources for their livelihoods. Fishermen, tourism operators and others could see their way of life dramatically altered. The potential for environmental degradation and loss of biodiversity cannot be ignored. Proponents argue that with careful planning and advanced technology, these environmental impacts can be mitigated. They envision a project that not only generates clean energy, but also incorporates measures to protect and preserve the Red Sea's unique ecosystems. However, achieving this balance will require unprecedented levels of collaboration between scientists, engineers, policymakers, and local stakeholders. Gap 2S. Ultimately, the environmental impact of the Red Sea Dam is a crucial factor that must be thoroughly assessed before any construction begins. As we look to harness the power of nature for a sustainable future, we must ensure that we do not sacrifice the very ecosystems that sustain us. Gap 2S. The Red Sea Dam project stands at the intersection of innovation and environmental stewardship. The choices we make today will shape the ecological and energy landscapes of tomorrow, 